Bobby Trevino is going to win the most outstanding player award. Oh, four. He set up the winning goal in overtime to wait. It's been really good. The other squad from this Frozen Four, Nathan Smith, Bobby Trevino, Nolan Walker, Zach Jones, Matthew Kessel, Philip Lindbergh. They're on the all-tournament team. Congratulations to all those players who played so well. All the UMass fans are on their feet. They're waving the maroon flag of the UMass Minutemen. They're clapping their hands. They got their UMass colors on. Taking about the, oh, 10 hour drive or so, eight to 10 hours to get here from Western Massachusetts and Amherst here to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Greg Carvel clapping for those fans. That's Jared DeMichael pointing there's Ben Barr to your right. Like Tara Holm, Brennan, the twins. The Savage's family's here. Brennan to the uh, Del Geisos at our hotel. This feeling is so good, knowing that you're gonna win. No pressure on you, just savoring it. Patting the guys in the back, you know, just you know, I love the way you play, man. You came here and played so hard for me. It's a real special time between a coach and a, and a, a group of guys. An eight-plus period is Lindbergh. Got to keep his shot out. Okabe over the net. Eight seconds to go. Cranola, redirection. Bouncing behind the net. Save. Watch out. Watch out. filled here, but these UMass fans are filling this 100% with their passion and their excitement for their school's first national championship. Yeah, and I love hearing the song, the UMass song. That's what the fans at the Mullen Center in Amherst would be cheering, and it's not fun when you're sitting on that other bench and they're scoring, but boy, mm. they deserve this moment. They were a very good team all year. They battled some ups and downs. We talked a lot about what happened two years ago, Barry, when they lost it. Boy, did that help. I don't think there's any doubt or any argument you can give that says that UMass is not the best team in college hockey. The teams that they beat to, t to get here, all some blue chippers, great big uh, teams that were used to going to the Frozen Four and winning the Frozen Four, and UMass beat them all. Great hockey team, great coach, great program. These are the best hugs right here. They are great hugs, Johnny, great hugs. 50 years from now, they'll call each other and talk to each other about this moment. Greg Carvel's the man that made this happen, and he is with our Quint Kestnick on the Massachusetts bench. Coach, you got me? Yeah. As you survey this scene, what's going through your mind? Very proud of these, everybody in our program. Where this program was five years ago, and now we're national champions. These kids have done, they've done it all. I'm so proud of them. I'm so thankful, very grateful. You brought the team in with about three minutes to go in the game in a tight huddle. What did you say? I asked them to soak it in, that they'd earned this. And I asked them to just take a minute, soak the last three minutes in. I tried to. I told them, I'm, I'm 50 years old. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> and I want them to do, just take it in. This year, everyone was provided with excuses, but it hit your team this weekend yep. to overcome the adversity. How'd they do it? We're a team. We're not a couple of guys. We have not a lot of stars. We got a great team, a lot of good depth, a lot of good people. We were fine. I knew we'd be fine. What stood out today, Coach, in, the, in this game? Oh, well, I think the game was closer than the score. Uh, I don't know, we were opportunistic. I felt like we were opportunistic. We we're obviously a very good defensive team. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. We appreciate your time. He does not want to miss the team picture. We saw him in Bridgeport sprint across the ice before he talked to us. He was flying. Quint was able to get him before the picture. He wanted to respect Coach Carvel. Quint's a great athlete himself. He knows what's going through these players and coaches' mind. You heard the emotion, Barry. 
I, I, it's what it's all about. It is. I, I've been in that situation. I know the feeling both ways, winning and losing in a game like that. These kids will remember. And John, you hit the nail on the head. 40 years from now, and it happens to me all the time, and it'll happen to uh, everybody, you, you're still calling these guys, and they're still your best friends. And if you need something, these are the guys that'll lend you money or take care of you or drive a long way to help you go to the doctor or something because yep. you're teammates forever. And really, stick taps to St. Cloud State and Brett Larson. They play in the strongest conference in college hockey, and it's tough. And they had their bubble to start the season in Omaha. And then they worked their way through the NCAA tournament. They got here. They came from behind in shocking fashion to beat Minnesota State. They make it to the title game, but then unable to get the job done. Bobby Trevino, what a strong season for him, Quint Kesnick. Bobby, Bobby, you finished it off in, in style tonight. What's this like? How do you explain this? This is amazing. These seniors have worked so hard for this. They they just completely changed this program around, and they absolutely deserve this. I'm so happy for them. How does that happen? How does Coach Carvel come in and completely flip the switch on this program? It's the culture. Uh, you know, he cares about character more than skill, and uh, that's what we're building here. We have a hell of a lot of character, and uh, I'm so happy to be part of it. It's crazy. Where did that character and culture show up on, on Thursday and tonight? Just to, just, just to compete out there, just, just battling hard. I don't even know what to say. It's just so crazy. Uh, we just willed this one to victory. Bob, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Of course, we have a uh, trophy presentation to go. So players and coaches don't have to worry about missing the team picture because the trophy's not here yet. That's the picture they want. There it is, the National Championship Trophy. We go to Robert Sebastian in-house. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. It's our pleasure to begin the 2021 NCAA Men's Frozen Four National Championship Awards Ceremony. At this time, please turn your attention to center ice to join the NCAA Division I Men's Ice Hockey Committee Chair, Michael Kemp for the presentation of the 2021 NCAA National Championship Trophy. What a tournament and what a game tonight. First of all, on behalf of the NCAA, the Division I Men's Ice Hockey Committee and hockey fans from across the country, I want to express great thanks to Sport Pittsburgh, the local organizing committee, PPG Paints Arena management and staff, and Robert Morris University for their great efforts in putting this tournament on over the course of the last three days. A lot has gone into it, and it's one of those years where everybody fought through a tremendous disadvantage, and the hockey season was always in question. But people went forward, gave an effort, believed, and we ended up with a tremendous Frozen Four. A great congratulations is given out to the four teams that earned the right to be here. Minnesota Duluth, Minnesota State, St. Cloud State, and the University of Massachusetts. So now, without further ado, I would like to ask the captains of the University of Massachusetts to come forward and claim your trophy. Congratulations. For Jake Audet to grab that championship trophy and there it is and they're all the hands they all had a part in this all those hands had a part in acquiring that trophy what a story all year in college hockey and what a story for UMass in particular 